Hey, good morning, uh, traders. Please like my video if you like it, and uh, let me know uh, if there's stuff you're seeing that I'm not seeing. Uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, <clears throat> bottom line is, guys, I got a mixed bag on the indices this morning. So, I'll start with the ESs here on my, uh, this is the chart I use for my Zoom, uh, live Zoom tra tra trading this morning uh, in uh, the chat room. Anybody can uh, join us if they want, just to uh, Leave a comment below uh, if you want to uh, join our group and uh, I can send you a link via email or uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so we got a gap from yesterday above us here on all three indices. Okay. Uh, we are, we've already tagged that gap here showing relative strength here and the IWM, uh, the uh, Russell 2000. Okay. Uh, we are above our central pivot uh, range this morning with the gap uh below us so we technically have a gap above us and we're opening here uh this area right here it will be our uh opening gap to the upside okay right through here okay so we'll have gaps on both sides of us on the russell okay to start the day uh even though this thing anything typically whenever you're above your cpr that tends to be a little bit more bullish uh, relative to uh, uh <clears throat> the prior days inventory so we're opening a little bit more bullish there. Now, uh, what we're going right here, a little bit more bullish here, a CPR, you're a little bit above that. We've came down to the actual central pivot and we are bouncing off that early on this morning here, it happened about uh, within the past uh, 15, 20 minutes. So we are holding the CPR, okay? Uh, <coughs> uh, that is also the very critic bull bear cross for today's session. So, so far we are, we are holding the uh, bull bear cross here on ES's, uh, so S&P's, suggesting that, uh, you know, we're going to open with a little bit more relative strength here on the S&P's, a little bit more bullish, uh, you know, so basically we lose uh, that area we just bounced off of here, the central pivot, then things can uh, turn real quick, so be mindful of that, okay, and we still have our gap up here. <clears throat> okay, and right up here represents our last week's close. So we are within a hair's breadth of going completely flat on the week. Uh, so be mindful of that as well. Okay, uh, we are. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now the weakness of them all here, that's your NASDAQ. Okay, so be mi very mindful of that. So we're having really difficult, difficult time just turning. Uh, uh positive uh off of uh the central pivot okay even really having trouble even getting above the central pivot so far this morning showing relative a lot of relative weakness here in tech okay uh this is our bull bear cross up here we haven't even back tested that yet we haven't even back tested that yet so that's it's really lagging here on our tech land okay so be mindful of that this morning so we've got a mixed bag here of uh uh, things happening here in the markets okay so uh but uh you know how markets love to fill gaps and uh, uh so basically our primary thesis would be the closest uh at this point you know we're almost halfway between this gap and the gap that didn't fill here on the nasdaq so we're about almost 50 percent of the range between the two gaps that are still existing here on the NASDAQ. We took out the gaps to the bottom below us here uh, on the ESs already. So, uh, you know, gap theorists would suggest that we're gonna be coming up here trying to fill some of this gaps here on the S&Ps today. So, so, you know, a little bit more bullish scenario uh, to start the session this morning, okay? Uh, some things I got going on here. Uh, let me see here, let me move this over real quick. My main platform here. Okay, guys. So, uh, things happening. We did have Elon coming out this morning saying he's not going to be selling any more shares for some time now. Uh, you know, if, if you can believe him. Okay. So, uh, that wasn't in the news this morning. Uh, so, you have to, I mean, uh, Tesla shares have gotten obliterated. Uh, so, um, yeah, they just absolutely obliterated this week. So, they could, that could trigger a short squeeze. Somewhat of a short squeeze in the uh, Tesla, um, as uh, uh, you know, just the idea that uh, Elon, you know, has officially came went public 
saying that he's not going to sell any more shares for a period of time here. So uh, I think it's so um, just be be mindful of that because now he's on record that he, you know, he's not going to sell shares. He said publicly, so he could be legally if he were to continue to sell into uh, uh, into uh, uh, retail investors after making that public statement, he could be uh, legally liable for uh, uh, misleading investors. So. So be mindful of that. That that can, that can trigger a short squeeze scenario. He's actually put his name out there, his reputation out there, uh, saying that. So be mindful of that. But I'm like I said, tech is still the laggard on the uh, technical uh, setup this morning. So so these are your main uh, names this morning on any sort of volume that are catching a bid this morning. Uh, so be be mindful of those. Uh, as far as uh, bullish setups this morning, we got uh, um, uh, crossing the past four hours here to the uh, upside. Okay, uh, we got, uh, let me refresh it real quick here. If it'll work. Okay, you got Baba, ExxonMobil, Boeing, Home Depot. Um, these are these are the names right here, uh, with, which uh, have some bullish uh setups to start initially start the trading session okay and then on the bearish side if i can get it to load here it's not wanting to load one second let me see if i can stop this for a sec sorry i had to i didn't have the extended four hours so basically the past four hours in the overnight session these are some technical setups. These are the bullish setups I'm seeing right now. Not quite, not too many of them. Okay. So uh, because we are in a downtrend in the market, uh, it took a little while for the moving averages to catch up the price. So basically in the overnight session, these are new triggers that happen in the overnight session. These are, uh, in my opinion, bearish signals uh, to come into the session. We're getting some bearish crosses. So Apple, Amazon, uh, you know, to lead the pack right here, uh, Bank of America, AMD, uh, Airbnb. Okay, so that gives you some idea here because of the downtrend. We're getting a lot more bearish side signals there. Now, as far as uh, initial momentum this morning, uh, bearish momentum this morning here, uh, uh, Home Depot still. Acting a little bit more bearish this morning, and then uh, bull bullish momentum this morning. We're seeing a little bit of action in the AMD, Meta, Visa, and J and J. Those are the those are the big companies. Uh, I, I got a smaller sample size that I create this list off of. Okay, so these 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 are some bullish momentum to the upside setups initially this morning. Okay, so uh, I'm getting a little bit of conflicting information there. Okay, so there you go. Uh, bottom line is edge initially this morning is to the upside. Okay, so be mindful of that. Our edge uh, with NASDAQ uh, dragging on the markets. Okay, you know, that's from the technical setups that I'm seeing right here. Uh, this staying below here, not even tagging that yet. That is a, that's a red flag on tech. So be mindful of that. Uh, in today's session okay guys so that's that's pretty much my big takeaway here and uh you know obviously uh energy is helping support the russell uh financials are helping support the russell so take that for what it is and the bond markets close at two o'clock today some final takeaways here the bond markets are breaking down this morning the 10-year bonds are breaking down again i get various continuations now signal in the bonds that's helping support the uh, Russell here with the banks. The banks are probably going to be an outperformer. Uh, if we were to, to settle in today, I would be looking at the banks as being an outperformer in today's session. So, you know, uh, initially here with what we're seeing here with the bond market. And then if you also look at your crude, crude is another thing that really helps support the uh, uh, Russell here. Uh, here you are. So crude uh, showing a lot of relative strength right here early on this morning. We still haven't tagged that. 
logic would suggest that we're probably going to higher on crude initially this morning to get uh, to test and see if they want to push prices higher. So let's just keep an eye on that one here. Some re possible relative strength in the crude oil space, and and uh, also always look at XBI for uh, the Russell, which is showing re relative strength, and uh, obviously here <coughs> we are at the uh, <coughs> uh, performing fairly well here on XBI. You know, we had that massive sell off, and we've got got back almost all of the XBI on that sell off yesterday. So uh, it really didn't even affect XBI uh, on that uh, pullback yesterday. So this was really unscathed. So that that suggests, you know, that, you know, we can still see some relative strength in the uh, Russell today. So I do want to float that idea. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave comments below if you're seeing something I'm not seeing. Uh, but like I said, Edge is initially here to the bullish side this morning with uh tech uh lagging the indices this morning.